Hi everyone, I'm Ricky. I'm Kayla. I'm Abby. And we're going to be watching <laughs> How to Get Away with Murder Season 4, Episode 4, entitled Was She Ever Good at Her Job? Answer is yes. <laughs> but they're all bitches anyways. Last time on How to Get Away with Murder, we saw that Michaela had blood all over her titties mm -hmm. and was like, everyone around us dies. Is he dead? And we don't know if that's the baby or Asher or Connor or... Laurel's dad that she maybe just stabbed the shit out of, who knows. <laughs> Michaela is now working at Kaplan and Gold and she's in that competition. Mm -hmm. And of course she, oh, she won that. And she so now it. she's under, um, I forget her name, but like the most badass lawyer in the business. And also right. the one that controls or yes, is in attacks. charge of what's his, her dad, Laurel's dad's account. Right. Yeah. So that should be interesting. I wonder if she's going to get caught up in a, all of this. Like Michaela's boss lady. I bet it she's would be involved. nice. It would be nice yeah. to have a character that's not involved in these flash forwards because it never happens. It's always like everybody's involved. Yeah. But I'm sure at the end of this episode, we're going to see that there's like another person that's involved in all this crap. Well, well, Connor's like all depresso. He dropped out. He's spending all of his money. And his, his two dads. dads. Oh my god, wait, I want to see more of that. I'm so excited to see that. When I was watching our review for last episode, um, see, <laughs> yeah, episode, episode three. No, but when I was watching that, I noticed that there was, um, we didn't talk about it later, but when her friend who had the overdose, how like it was so neat and tidy or something that she would just die. So I think that might come up later. I don't think that was just like a, oh, she um, died and... What was her name? I don't remember. I yeah. Remember name, but, but it was but, sketchy. Yeah, but that happened last episode. I think that it has, it, there's... We're talking we're about Annalise's, like the, the, her cellmate that she yeah. got out of prison. She overdosed on heroin or something, which, yeah, we, it was very like... Are you sure about that? Okay, yeah. let's do it. You can never separate your emotions from your job. Oh That's yeah, they almost have to fight. Yeah. <laughs> 98 by a group of plaintiffs and lawyers willing to take on Goliath. On tar ass. Okay. Nice burn. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I want you to meet my intern from Middleton, Michaela Pratt. Get in here. Hello. <laughs> I knew that was gonna fucking happen. Let's kick him where it hurts. How this is gonna work out? I'm gonna tell you about the time you came out. How are you okay with this? Because I'm an adult who needs a job. Now go do yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. They're all so sassy towards each other. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, she Why wanted to make sure she was good. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking I'm your boss. She's pregnant. You'll be kicking off your campaign with a discrimination lawsuit. Oh. Throw those black males his way. <laughs> See, like, I don't understand, like, why they just this? don't work together huh? if they're yeah. still covering for each yeah. other anyways. Mm -hmm. Like... She was my professor. Mm. Not only home, I... Oh, okay. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, I'm so well, you sorry. cover it up. You don't just. <laughs> you can't. Okay. I remember when you used to look like that. Mr. Thompson, please find attached our client's countersuit against Mr. Hargrove. Understand how suicide leaves survivors with an ocean of guilt. And I just wonder could this be what's driving you to take on this project. She knows it's not suicide though, so it's like... Concrete way to make amends. I feel like she's about to burst Agreed. and say something. You were supposed to send the countersuit to Ronald's lawyer, Barry Thompson, but you sent it to Barry Lewiston, the Middleton board member. Coming. President Harbour's on the phone with him right now trying to salvage your job. Oh my god. Barry, please. My it's god. a personal issue. She's still hot, I'll give her that. I told you. you I, told yeah, you. right? Okay, don't do that. Ugh. Jesus fuck. Like, why is he so... Stop. With the gloves and the hat. Yeah. Stop it. I think you need money. Oh, well, now she can get the money. Go. She can get those papers that she wanted. Sure. And we let's not take baby in that suitcase. Don't you know that? Not talking He's like, can I be the father? Please. 
Because she's all in me, so she just, called him. Uh, whatever you need. Get that d- <laughs> no, I'm here for you. She's going for it. Yep, 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 yep. She's looking at his dick. Wait. Don't say that again. Don't say that again, please. They are having dinner with Mr. Sue three months before filing for divorce. Okay. So that you could illegally hide your assets before filing. Oh. Mr. Hargrove works in finance <laughs> once it was a call. The song is going to be up. I know. Real world. Like if all Spaces four of them would just work it. together and like okay. stay working together, that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. I would love that. And then they can create their own little firm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why is he saying like that? I don't know. I just <laughs> noticed that too. My forgiveness. You think for money everywhere you go. Me, Tegan, whatever woman you encounter next. You want us all to be the mother you was never was. Jesus. He knows that's not true, so don't even. He's self-inflicting penance for the lie. I'll think about it. Mm. It's gonna be a hard breakup, though. You know, I know. It's gonna happen again. We all knew it should, but if they do a breakup again, it needs to just like be. Over. I cannot believe you missed me. It turns out not as bad of my job as you think. I don't think that. Whatever. <laughs> They're so <laughs> sassy towards each other. The patient is a trigger for me. Trigger to use drugs or to like. <clears throat> or like. Uh, Julie? Yes. Come in. Any place you feel comfortable. Where's the baby? Oh, oh my shit. god. <laughs> President Tegan. Like, There's know. literally blood like everywhere. So Michaela had to have been a Kaplan and Gold then. Yeah. Right? I mean, are we assuming that then? Because, mm-hmm. I mean, she was dressed all like nice and stuff. She wouldn't be over at Annalise's apartment, mm-hmm. I don't think. Yeah. Was the person that somehow got a. How did someone get that bloody at both places unless both, like, they were at both places maybe? Or it's just two different people that are all, like, fucked up or something. So, right now, in Kaplan and Gold, their whole thing is getting on Tari, on Taurus or whatever. Mm-hmm. So her dad. But that doesn't really fit the murders that they would do, because they're all about mystery and what happened. It wouldn't be like right. someone shot them or whatever. But that's what's going on at Kaplan and Gold. And then at her house, she's doing all the research on... Denver. General. Denver. This- so those two things, but then I guess both are connected to Antares. But it doesn't seem like the murders itself, or what look like murders, would fit how they do their murders. It seems like more and more of a possibility that Connor might be in trouble. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Because, although I don't know what he would be doing at Kaplan and Gold, although I don't know what Oliver is doing at Kaplan and Gold, but Michaela asked, is he dead? She had blood all over, you know, whatever. And Oliver's there as well as a witness to whatever the fuck happened. And, like, why there? Like, what the hell happened at this yeah. firm? Yeah. Well, right now, they're about to call him in to get involved with Kaplan and Gold, so we might that might get revealed a Wait, little bit more. Who is? Oliver. Because they were, like, just calling him about the IT things to hack Tegan's files. Oh, right. So maybe they're going to present Oliver as being someone, either he's going to hack them or present his new company that they were talking about, and now he kind of forgot about this episode, 
what is it? His it's really um, funny. Name. Control Alley oh. Delete. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe he might be doing something. Maybe she'll introduce them to Tegan or whatever. I literally have no guesses as, as to why there is like blood there. They're doing something again, which I just realized is like introducing each character. Yeah. Yeah. And each flash forward to like Rule get rid out. of any sort of mystery about that person, right. but kind of still leaving it it's kind of like it's kind of like how they did it last season where they're they were yeah. like revealing who's actually like okay each episode yeah. which it's like but like not so literal like last season was where it was just like who oh, is it this like, episode but now oh, it's like it's oh this yeah. person's involved this person's involved everyone's fucking involved but like yeah, yeah it's just like who's like involved and like who has something to do with whatever this season is so good mm -hmm. so far so I'm just yeah I just want to be able to binge watch it and know what's going on. Me too. Instead of just being like, uh, my brain hurts and just like, what? And the thing is, the next episode is in, what, two days? I have Thursday off. For once. So would we want to watch it like live again? Sure. Yeah. So then that video should be out very like soon <laughs> after. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Bonnie is going under this alias Julie. Why? I don't know. She was calling Isaac. Mm -hmm. He wasn't answering her, but he was trying to call Annalise. Which, does that mean that he's worried that maybe she's in danger or something? Or maybe, like, Julie, a.k.a. Bonnie, is just trying to get information about what's going on with Annalise so she can try to use that against her, which I wouldn't be surprised yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Bonnie, Julie, is going to try and, like, seduce him to, like, get information because, like... She that's like that. kind of her thing that she would do yeah and we're all like no don't yeah. do it like but you think she'll take that money they brought they introduced the money again i think she'll take oh. the money eventually it's gonna be like it has pivotal. to be used for something like yeah. there's no way it can't just like go away it has to be used for something yeah so we haven't seen connor or asher Mm -hmm. Or tegan who i mean i'm assuming that something's up mm -hmm. Because, I mean, if she's the head of that place, yeah, there's got to be something. Mm -hmm. Nate. Yeah, Nate. We haven't seen Nate. Maybe Nate's dead. Yeah. Or, like, almost dead. He hasn't been really involved in much of anything for any of the flash he's, forwards. He's always yeah. just kind of, like, just misses whatever happened. You know, he, like, right before Wes died. Mm -hmm. Right after Annalise got shot. Oh, Annalise. Yeah. Where the fuck is she? There was a gun. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So they said there was a gun in Annalise's apartment. How far oh, is yeah. Annalise's apartment away from this Captain and Gold place? It can't be that far because Annalise is starting to work there now, or yeah. is going to. Yeah. The gun. They didn't say who it was regi registered to, or who, or if it was like shot. But we can only assume that it was shot at least either at Annalise's house, or maybe it was shot over in Kaplan and Gold, and then they went over to Annalise's house, and there was some, like, scuffle there or something. I don't think that whoever was bloody in the elevator or in Kaplan and Gold made it to the other place. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. So, way. like, it has to be two different people. Mm -hmm. There's still the possibility of Dominic and Laurel's father as well. We can't count them out. I mean, it seems like a far-fetched thing, but, I mean... Last season was all far-fetched, so. That was a great episode. Yeah. Yeah, I really liked it. And we're going to watch the next episode really sooner than how we usually do it, because we usually watch it Tuesdays, but we are going to watch it live next time. Mm-hmm. So be on the lookout for that. Okay, wait. I think it was a suicide that happened. Why? Because... Oh, it might... See, now I didn't even think about that. Because everyone was, like, upset and still in there, but then when they showed you know what was happening at Annalise's house they were testing it they were trying to figure out like what happened obviously there weren't many people around but in a situation where there was like a shooter or something I feel like people would be removed from the situation and then but instead everyone was around their desks like kind of and like upset. crying and stuff yeah. like that yeah yeah so it's like who would that be mm -hmm. and um if Michaela's like is he dead I mean she must have been right next to whoever the hell did whatever or something also, do we even know that these things are happening at the same time? We do know because Bonnie was calling Isaac while she was in the and elevator Kaplan. for Kaplan Gold. Okay, we do. So there we go. Well, I just want to Well, make actually, sure. I mean, well, uh, yeah, because Bonnie, she was wearing the same thing yeah. when she was at Annalise's apartment. 
versus yeah. I don't oh, know yeah, how she was at both. Yeah, but I don't know how the hell these happened. These two events happened at the exact same time. I don't think that's possible then. Or like around the same time. Unless the two events somehow correlate and whoever was all bloody was still bloody when they got to Annalise's apartment. Or they started getting bloody at Annalise's apartment. It, came, it somehow went over to Capital and Gold and there was this some. I have no well, fucking clue. Well, what if there's clue. two separate murderer peoples if that's not Dominic suicide. and Wall's father. I don't know. I like that I don't know what's going on and it's not like, oh, it's obvious. Like last season, I was just like, <laughs> okay, it's obviously going to be either Frank, Nate, or Wes. And then as the episodes went down and showed Wes's flash, flash forward, I was like, that could have been any time. It's probably him. And then mm -hmm. it was him. And then they just like made up these like crazy things like while in the house, like Connor was in there trying to <laughs> save him. And then Laura was there but didn't get hurt. And then Nate was there but he came out. Like it's just like, I know. It's like, come on. There was and no. And like Frank was like following him but somehow lost him in his pursuit in a car. <laughs> yeah. While was... Wes was just walking. Yeah, so bad. There's so many plot holes to season three. Anyways, we're not talking about that. I'm gonna write down, um, yeah, a list of all of our theories from every single video and compile them. And then like while we're watching the finale or the mid-season finale, I'll write all of them down or, <laughs> or say all of them. And then we'll see if any of them are right. Right. And then the person that- Which if we guess we, enough, yeah. we'll probably, uh, if it, <laughs> yeah. what, we get a prize or something? Yeah, we'll say that. Or the losers have to do something that the, the winner said that they have to do on camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, bye for real this time.